Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to run through five of the best budget flip front or modular helmets. For the purposes of this guide, we've set that budget at £200. Now, three of the helmets here push right up against that price limit, but there are a couple of cheaper options that are definitely worth considering. And one of the helmets that surprised me most from this group has a starting list price of £100 as we record this. All of the helmets featured in this list are approved to the new ECE 2206 safety standard, and they're all here based on a combination of feedback from owners and also our own findings from trying them out on the road. The HJC i91 takes over from their outgoing i90, which has been very popular with an average rating of 4.8 from 129 customer reviews as we record this. The i91 is right on the limit of our price threshold and only plain colors are within that 200 pounds limit. It's a well-built lid that has a polycarbonate shell. It's got an easy to operate dual homologated chin bar mechanism and a good main visor. Plus you get a pin lock insert included in the box with this helmet. The sun visor is great. It covers pretty much all of the eye port although you can limit that travel if you need to. Ventilation on this helmet is good, especially from the top vent. Overall though, I found this helmet to be on the heavy side when I wore it, and also another criticism, the smallest visor opening isn't very big either. You also might find it tricky to fit a non-HJC intercom because of this clip on the left, but at least HJC have a range of different official intercoms, which means you don't have to buy a fancy expensive unit if you wanna have an intercom that fits neatly to the lid in the correct way. This HJC C91N makes our list based on customer feedback for its predecessor, the very popular C91. This C91N is approved to the newer safety standard, but I can see absolutely no significant difference between the two lids. Owners are very happy with their earlier C91s and they give an average rating of 4.9 from 40 reviews. Like the C91, this C91N is made from a plastic shell with a single button lift on the chin bar. Something to note, this lid is single homologated, so it can only legally be worn with the chin bar closed. There's no pin lock insert supplied with the helmet, but there are pins to add one if you're happy to pay an extra £30 for the insert itself. Plain C91Ns are £140 and a graphic like this is £160, but as we record this, there are still very good stocks of the C91 and they cost £100 in plain colours or around £130 for graphics. If it was my money and I had to choose between a C91 and a C91N, then I know I'd be choosing that older C91 for as long as one of those is available. At a penny under 100 quid, the MT Genesis SV is the cheapest helmet in this guide. But after wearing one, I am very comfortable with giving this helmet a spot in this list. There aren't loads of customer reviews yet, but five of the first eight owner reviewers have all given five stars. And there's no striking criticism from the three people who didn't give five stars either. It's a new model, so it's got that reassuring ECE 2206 safety standard pass. It's dual homologated as well, so you can legally ride with the chin bar locked in the raised position. The sun visor lever is on the left rim, which is the easiest method. The vents work well and the lining is nicer than many helmets of this price. I found the visor would also stay open slightly for airflow as well. Plain colours for this lid are £100 and graphics like this one are £120 as we record this. There's no pin lock supplied with the helmet but adding one of those leaves you at £135 for a plain colour or £155 for a graphic and I think that makes this lid a bit of a snip. The Scorpion ADX2 is the only adventure flip front helmet on our list and it has a decent average customer rating of 4.7 from 38 reviews as we record this. It comes with a peak fitted, but you can take that off and run the helmet in street mode instead. I prefer to wear the helmet like this as there's less aero disruption. The adventure shaped eye port means you get good peripheral vision and the sun visor on the inside is quite good as well. You get a pin lock supplied with that outer visor as well, so you get plenty for your money with this helmet. Ventilation works well, but you need the inner of two chin sliders open to get the strongest flow, and the top vent switch rattles on this helmet when I wear it as well. Customer feedback isn't unanimously positive, and the two strongest critics both have issues in poor weather, so if you tend to dodge the worst conditions, then I think this could be a decent lid. Like other helmets here, you'll need to stick to plain colours to stay within our budget. Plain colours for this helmet come in at £189.99. The Caberg Duke X is the successor to the hugely popular Duke 2, which was the most reviewed helmet ever on Sports Bike Shop. This Duke X is essentially the same helmet with a few very small revisions that help it achieve the new ECE 2206 safety approval. The old Duke 2 had an average rating of 4.7 from 682 customer reviews, and this one's had five five-star ratings from its first six reviews. 
plain colors only just creep in under the 200 pound threshold and you get a plastic shelled lid with the dual homologation for use with the chin bar closed or locked in the raised position. The old lid's five star rating in the Sharp Impact Test was also a big attraction for that helmet and I see nothing at all to suggest this Duke X is any less safe than that. You get a pin lock insert in the box with the Duke X unless you choose the smart black paint scheme. Buying that one will save you £25 on a regular plain Duke X, but if you do then need a pin lock, it will cost you £30, and I'll leave the maths on that one up to you. Okay, so there they are, our selection of five top flip front helmets for under £200. If you've made it to the end of this video and decided that you actually want to spend a bit more, there's a link popping up now to our video on the best flips regardless of price. But if you're staying disciplined, then hopefully there's at least one helmet in this list to fit your bill. My advice is always the same. The best helmet is the one that works best for you and how you ride. Firstly, the fit has got to be right. An uncomfortable helmet makes riding a chore and a well-fitted helmet will protect you better as well. Also, think about the conditions you'll be riding in. If you're gonna be out in all weathers, then a pinlock anti-mist insert will help you a lot. If that's you, then factor in the price of that pinlock insert before choosing a helmet. Often it's more cost-effective to buy a helmet that includes a pinlock rather than buying the helmet and the pin lock separately. And one more thing, to be eligible for this guide, a helmet had to have a recommended retail price of less than 200 pounds in at least one color scheme at the time that we put this list together. But there are usually clearance deals on old models and old color schemes. And that means some other very good helmets will drop below 200 pounds. It's always worth checking. And we've put a link in the description below that will show you every flip helmet on Sports Bike Shop for 200 pounds or less at the time you click on it. Now, whether you choose one from our selection or if you go your own way, I hope you find the right helmet for you. Thanks for watching.